Okay, so here we go. We're ranking all the maps uh, based off of loot and PvP. We're not taking into effect like cheaters and stuff like that because, I don't know, I feel like that just takes away from the map. We're just taking the maps from how they are. So first up, we'll go labs. What do I think of labs? Honestly, as of the current wipe, I think it's a solid A. Because you have to pay to get into it, obviously, which isn't an issue, but it really is not that great. I mean, with keys, it's better, but the keys are so expensive and I don't know. It's just, it got nerfed. I just don't think it's that great. Now, it is my favorite map for PvP. That's why I gave it an A. Loot-wise, I think it could, it sh I think it should be better. Next up, we got customs. This is a hard one. I'm either going B or C. I think I'm going B with customs. As long as you live your raids, you can make some pretty decent money off of customs. That's why I'm going with B. Like, you're not going to get crazy loot, but you can get some solid loot oh i would also like to go back and add the customs that i personally really like the pvp on the map i don't know i think it's just well balanced for where it's at and how the map's laid out i think it's well balanced pvp next up we got shoreline loot wise i think shoreline's an a if you can loot the resort um with the current audio situation of the game it makes pvp really bad in resort because that's like that's pretty much where you're the only place you're fighting people on that map i mean maybe down by the by the gas station but most of your fighting is going to be going on in the resort and i don't no, resort fights are fun but with the current audio it's not that fun really good loot decent pvp even though it's only in one spot i'm gonna give it an a purely because of the pvp and just like most of the map is useless next up we got reserve uh honestly i'm gonna give reserve an s it's got really good loot i think the pvp is well like spread out and if you know if you know money runs and you have keys and stuff like that you definitely make some good money factory as much as i like it i'm gonna give it a c I don't think anything i don't think any of the maps are a d only because fun i think factory's fun like really fun loot wise it's terrible obviously but it's got really fun pvp so that's why i'm giving it c next up we got woods i'm gonna put it on the same tier as customs because like yes you can make some dank money on woods but personally i'm not that big of a fan of sniping and that's what most of the combat is on that on that map from my experience that's why i'm putting it in b next up we got interchange loot wise i would say interchange is in no i would say interchange is in a loot wise but pvp wise honestly i give it a d because the lighting so many rat spots it's just not fun to pvp on i don't know i can't rank it on the same rank as i can't rank it the same as customs okay i'm giving it a purely because i can't i can't get i can't rank it the same as custom actually you know what? We'll, do, we'll do this we'll do this put factory d customs and woods on c interchange on b i think that's better i don't really like factory being on d but i can't put it on the same tier as customs and woods i can't put customs and woods on the same tier as interchange so if there was like a c plus that's where customs and interchange would go or if there's like a b plus or that's where customs and woods would go and if there was a, a b plus that's where interchange would go because like i said it, interchange has really good loot but man it's just bad lighting so many rat spots and then it's just that just makes the pvp really really unfun next up we got streets of tarkov that's just an s that's better than that's better than reserve i mean come on great pvp great map layout great loot i mean the loot's just oozing out everywhere you look you look on the street and you find a you find a graphics card on the ground i mean <laughs> i mean it's crazy how much loot is on that map and then the pvp is really fun the only part that sucks about it is the amount of windows if you're not careful you'll get shot from a window as you're just walking around as the only part that sucks but other than that top tier map by far my favorite well i did say labs was my favorite it's like one of my favorites and then last but not least we got lighthouse pvp wise i do not like lighthouse pvp i will be honest it is by far my least favorite map to, pe to pvp on but everything else it's fun and you can make a lot of money on it i'm gonna give it I'm, i think it's better than reserve so i'm gonna put it in s and but i'm now kind of rethinking where i have reserve i think i might put reserve a tier above labs i think i'm gonna do that reserves a tier above labs and we should probably fix this woods actually no nah, woods below customs i'm fine with that yeah i think we're good with that i don't know i don't think reserve can be on the same tier as streets and lighthouse loot wise lighthouse and streets just blow reserve out of the water they blow every other map out of the water pvp was i think reserve is better than lighthouse i'm gonna stick with what i got let me know what you guys think this is my tarkov tier list of just like the all-around maps you know the pvp the loot how it plays just just everything like it wasn't specific it was just an all-around tier list let me know what you guys think let me know if you would do anything different